without a doubt, creativity is an addiction. Without a doubt, you lay awake at night because you don't understand why it continues to demand all the attention. But we need your creativity. The whole entire world does, this generation, because we have to come together as one and reach beyond this COVID-19 nightmare. We need to be creative as one. And let's push toward the next tomorrow. Unplug because we will always say yes to creativity, totally uncut, because we all make mistakes. So turn it into a tool. This is Arrow Unplugged. Oh my goodness. Look at that ray of light. When I was going through my days of drafting in high school, I actually earned the honor of getting an internship with an architect. And the architect, Mr. Harris, he sat there with me and said, you've got to answer the question, why? Why this? Why that? And so this morning, seeing this ray of light going through this beautiful forest, it, it, it's like there's a, there's a source of energy there that is inspiring, empowering. It gives the world a gift, not just me, it, the trees, the ground, the deer that we saw this morning on our morning walk. That ray of light is a presence. And then you can ask the question, why? And you grow from that. So when people tell me all the time, well, I don't know what I want to write about. I, I think I'm creative, but I don't know how to tap into it. Then answer the question, why? Put yourself in that position of decision making and take the step. Hey, it's Arrow. This is The Choice. This is what I was writing while the sun was waking up on a brilliant new day. And you just happened to be here while the sun was waking up. This ray of light moving through this force, which I'm falling witness to inside this studio. Today's date is August 19th, 2021. Here we are. There we were. So what's your choice? Do we think about the uncertain future? So now we have three things to put in our hearts. This isn't a dull picture or a painting. The goal is to build upon the richness of the situation, the presence of where we are, so that the early connections can be easily accessed. That's where we need a little bit of help. Because a lot of us, we need attention. We need to have it now. Not in 10 minutes, not three minutes ago. We need it now. Well, the question is, do we make our moves to help heal too early? Well, I'm feeling kind of low. I think I'm going to do this. Are you really feeling kind of low or are you feeling kind of normal? We got to make up our minds on that. See, I used to tell people that, my God, I'm feeling great. And then when I would have a dull, low moment, it's like, well, I, I must be depressed. But yet I could never answer the question, why? Why do you feel depressed? Well, I'm not depressed then why did you label it a depression? Because I wasn't feeling high. Do we act too early? Do we try to attempt to heal ourselves way too early? When in reality, nothing was ever needed. Yet we took the action due to a reaction. Here we are. How do we utilize the time and the space without turning it into a race? You got to put your weight in the moment without weighing yourself down with a past that you're never going to be able to change. Be available to your now. Hold yourself accountable for its energy. And if you fall asleep, so be it. So be it. I talk with a lot of people who meditate, people who who try to, you know, kind of get control of their personal lives. And every one of them feel embarrassed when they say, I fell asleep. Of course you did. And, and, and they're embarrassed because it's like, I was trying to meditate, feel the energy moving through me, and, and I fell asleep. Yeah, you did. And, and, and who's bringing judgment against you but only you? It, it happens. It's, it's a learning, disciplined process to be able to bring the universe within and allow it to do what it's supposed to do. Sometimes it is to cleanse the mind, body, and soul. Other times it's to empower and to give you energy so that you can continue reaching forward. But don't ever be embarrassed when meditation, prayer, or just a simple moment of resting gives you permission to fall asleep. It's okay. It's okay. It's not a disconnection. It's still a resurrection because when you come out of that, you're going to have the purpose to continue being in your now. That sounds like a preacher. I'm not a preacher. I'm just this guy 
who has lived life has been gifted with the opportunity to share life, to to be able to take your creative energy and say, yeah, yeah, you have enormous amounts of highs when it's happening. But when it's not, then you're going, well, I must be depressed. No, you're not. You just became normal, just normal. And you know what? Fall in love with being normal. It's perfectly okay. And if you fall asleep meditating or praying, it's just normal. I'm Errol, and that's what I was writing while the sun was waking up on a brilliant new day.